To start off our exploration of symmetry and group theory, I'm going to make you aware of a few websites which are very handy and helpful uh, for this chapter of the playlist. So the first is uh, symmetry.otterbein.edu. That's symmetry at Otterbein. Um, some helpful sections in there, some tutorials on group theory, a lot of the same kind of stuff that I'm going to go through in this playlist. But the very useful thing is they have a gallery uh, where you can see, uh, visualize in a 3D way, uh, the point groups and symmetry elements. Uh, a lot of the things that we're going to study here uh, in, the, in this chapter, you can visualize them in a 3D way and get some real, real practice and also challenge yourself uh, by, by applying these types of techniques to various molecules on the website. So if we go ahead and look at this, uh, so this is the website, symmetry.otterbein.edu, symmetry at Otterbein. Um, so what we have here, uh, as I said, there's a tutorial which will go through some of the basic types of things that we'll talk about, you know, various symmetry elements, uh, symmetry operators, those sorts of things. But the really useful thing is the fact that you can get practice uh, looking at these things in three dimensions. So they have this uh, JS mole, which is kind of like an online molecule viewer. So here we have ammonia, and we can practice this by seeing uh, the various symmetry elements in ammonia. You can rotate this around with your cursor. So things like when I talk about mirror planes, you can actually select them and you can see what they actually look like. For example, this molecule, uh, ammonia, is symmetric under this mirror plane here. I can click on things like reflect, and it'll actually perform that symmetry operation. You can see the molecule uh, exchanging and reflecting through that mirror plane. And whatever symmetry elements for the molecule there are, you can select those as well. So they have that introduction there. That's the tutorial part. And then the really nice thing is that there's a gallery of tons and tons of molecules here, pretty much any molecule you could want to look at in terms of uh, various point groups. They're also sorted by uh, point groups, which we will uh, study in detail. So you can uh, practice for certain kinds of groups uh, that, that we'll see. So for example here, if I just go to water, water has axis of rotation, which you can see that rotation operation take place. You can It has other mirror planes of symmetry. You can see those operations take place. So a lot of symmetry in group theory is a lot like parts of organic chemistry like chirality uh, where it's really a 3D phenomenon and you need a lot of practice and visualization to really see what's going on. So this is a great website where you have lots of different molecules and lots of different kind of spatial objects where you can see a lot of these things. You can see a lot of them in motion and actually see how they work in practice. Okay, then the second is from Jacobs University in Germany, and this has a, a, a collection of character tables. So character tables are also something that's going to be very important for molecular point groups, which are uh, things that describe the symmetry of molecules, and character tables help us do ver useful things like determine which atomic orbitals are allowed to interact, which what the IR active modes and Raman active modes of vibrations of molecules are those sorts of things. Uh, right now they're just going to look like a bunch of tables of ones, zeros, and occasionally twos and threes. But for the various point groups, uh, these will be things that you'll need to look up at various times. So for example, uh, water, which is part of the C2V group, uh, this is a character table for that. And it's nice to have these all, you know, aligned in one place where you can see them presented in a consistent manner. Because if not, these are these are complicated. Group theory has a lot of applications in a lot of other fields. So it's nice to see these things in a place where they're all together and in one consistent and non-confusing location. So those are the two places that I recommend most uh, for you to practice and get your information from is uh, Symmetry at Otterbein and uh, Symmetry at Jacobs University. Those are both going to be very good resources for you because as, I, as I'm going to stress over and over again, molecular symmetry is all about visualization and practice. It's very hard to draw some of these things in the two dimensions of a screen, so you really need that 3D practice to, to get in there and see what's going on at the, at the deepest level.